everybody, welcome to Lane Stadium for today's matchup between your Wake Forest Demon Deacons and number 11 Virginia Tech. Let's roll to the highlights from Virginia. It'll be Wake Forest ball to start off things and Tyler Cameron, he, well he's going to start off by getting sacked not once but twice. Second and 16, let's make it third and 22. Needless to say, they would have to punt. Now it's Virginia Tech's turn. They are number 11 in the country, and they are going to show you why right here. Joshua Stanford could have got tackled way earlier than that, but he picked up a first down. And then Brennan Motley, well, that's QB keeper, and no one's going to touch him. Touchdown, Hokies. They are up already. 7 nothing. We are just 2.59 into the game. Wake Forest comes in as an underdog, but anything can happen. Third and 20 after Virginia Tech's touchdown. This is going to be Tyler Cameron on about his own 20. And it's going to be dropped by Sherman Ragland. So Wake Forest will have to punt it away. Virginia Tech ball once again. Second time halfway through the quarter. This is Asante and he's got room. He fights and that is Kevin Asante. Picking up a Virginia Tech first down. Now later on the drive. Third and eight. Motley. He will look, look, and go down. That is a sack for Wake Forest defense. You don't get many of them. But when you do, it feels good. And that one sure does. However, Virginia Tech's kid there at kicker does have a leg. Let's see if he can make it a two-possession game. It's going to be about a 52-yarder from Virginia Tech's kicker. The kick is up, the hold is good, and the kick is even better straight through the uprights. That could have gone 55 yards. 10-0, Va Tech over Wake. Two minutes to go and counting second and inches. Wake Forest needs to get across midfield for the first time today. And that will do it to the Virginia Tech 48, DeAndre Martin's five-yard rush. Now second and 12, this is a dump off to DeAndre Martin, gets through one. Picks up five, and it brings up third and seven. Now on third down, key, crucial play here. Slip screen to Martin. He's got room, and he picks up the first down. Make it first and goal, Wake. And after that, Cameron says, I can do whatever you can do a little bit better. Takes a hit, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Demon Deacons. They are on the board against number 11, Virginia Tech. 10-6. to six. Let's make it 10-7. Studio update today, the first one. This is going to be Clemson and Syracuse at the Carrier Dome. 7-0 Syracuse stunning the orange there, or Clemson, rather, not the orange. And they're up 7-0 against 3-1 Clemson. That is a big game. Another big game. Battle of the top fives. Red River Rivalry, Texas, up on Oklahoma, 21-7. We'll keep you posted all day long on that game. Back to our game now from Lane Stadium, Virginia Tech, ball second quarter action, 8.30 in county. This one's picked off by Brad Watson. He had room if he broke that tackle. But nonetheless, it's wake ball once again. It's 10-7. This could be a deadly possession for Wake Forest. Third and four. Cameron, he will be smart and throws it away. So let's send out Chad Hedlund. We have got a kicker of our own. This one from 52 as well. Win four miles an hour towards Hedlund's back. The kick is up. And the kick is good from Hedlund. So each kicker, 52 yard field goals. Game tied at 10, seven minutes to go in the second quarter. Now the uh, Virginia Tech possession, 6-14 counting third down, big third down. Brandon Motley looks, he finds Knowles, that is his slot receiver. Dimitri Knowles had a big game, picks up a first down, now first and 10. Motley, he will find his man, and that's Griffin Height. First down, threaded the needle, and on third and goal, how about this play? Motley, QB uh, keeper, not sneaker. And he gets absolutely laid out by Looney. And that will bring out the Wake Forest special teams unit. Good stop there. Field goal attempt for Virginia Tech. This one a little shorter, 17 
yards away, make it 22-23 yard field goal. Kick is up and good. 13-10 Va Tech over Wake Forest. Studio update, Red River rivalry. Say that three times fast. Oklahoma touchdown. They make it a one-score game. Now Virginia Tech ball after Wake Forest can't do anything with it. One minute to go. Molly, he will find his tight end Joel Caleb on the sidelines. Picks up two, but with a minute left, Virginia Tech no huddle offense and all three timeouts. Anything is a possibility in college football, whether you're on offense or defense. Let's see what happens here. Exactly 60 seconds to play in the first half. Motley, five-step drop. He finds Redmond. Redmond, he makes a couple people miss. The only chance for Wake is Brandon Chubb, and you know he's not going to get there. Touchdown, Hokies. What a play. What a defensive breakdown. And just like that, in the blink of an eye, Brandon Motley threads the needle. And how about that? He breaks Tyler Cameron's last year's record for the longest pass in the NCAA football and that is for 90 yards from their own 10. Not what you want to see if your coach math is there for Wake Forest. But we will go into half 20 to 10. And now we're in the third quarter. 9.50 to play. This is Dimitri Knowles again. Second and five picks up five. So far so good. But right here, Knowles gets his payback. Dimitri Knowles. That's a touchdown, Hokies. And from there, well, it wouldn't get any better. For Wake Forest. 41-18. The only offensive surge you're going to see is right here. Cameron gets hit. But he finds Aaron Willis. He'll run it into the end zone. They would go for two. Miss. And the final score would be 55-24. Tyler Cameron. Do the honorable thing. Just go down man. It's not worth it. Don't take the injury. Third and eight. That's your ball game. Virginia Tech routes Wake Forest in the second half from Lane Stadium. They show why they're number 11 in the country, and they win it dominantly. So Wake Forest drops to 2-3 and three on the season. Virginia Tech goes to 4-1, and one, and they will more than likely go in the top 10 in the top 25 poll. My name has been JT Plays. This has been another edition of Wake Forest College Football. Thank you for watching. If you did, like, comment, share, subscribe. And if you're new, check out other videos before subscribing as well also 100 subscriber special giveaway canceled not enough entries sorry guys but we will see you guys next time have a good one and take care